welcome to another episode of New Mexico Adventures, Kelly New Mexico Adventures. Uh, say it's Friday night and you get a call from a neighbor and they invite you over for maybe a libation or two and you got nothing to bring. And uh, or maybe you just want to impress your husband and wife on a Saturday night movie time. It's a good appetizer. Today, we're going to do stuffed mushrooms. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this jersey, yes, it's a Larry Zonka jersey from the Memphis Southman when he played in the World Football League. Uh, so for this easy recipe, stuffed mushrooms, all you need are some mushrooms, some pepperoni, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, can of tomato paste, and you're golden. Uh, so the first thing I did is I cleaned the mushrooms really, really well. You can see that. And I take the stems out, okay? And we'll do a couple here. It's very, very simple. I like the bigger mushrooms, but this is what we got at the grocery store the last time. Again, make and do, right? So just simply take the mushroom, hold your hand like this, and just wiggle that stem a little bit, and it'll pop right out. And what that gives you is a, you know, a hole in there to put your stuffing. So I place that over there, and I sprayed some Pam spray on top of that uh, aluminum foil. I always like to take that cocky end off, and uh, but you want to save the stem. That's going to become part of the stuffing. Throw the cuckiness in the cucky bowl. Do these last couple. And then we're going to get into prepping the pepperoni. Uh, the pepperoni, you can see by the stains on the cutting board, is pretty darn oily. Uh, it's not my favorite brand, but it's the brand they gave us at the store. You know how things are nowadays. Uh, you don't always get what you want. But the common theme here is nothing goes to waste. So we're going to use it up uh, on that. Okay, so next up, we've got these cleaned. We've got the stems, we'll chop those a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and prep this substandard pepperoni. We won't say any brand names. So when it comes to substandard pepperoni, I'm very leery to eat that casing. Uh, it kind of gives me the willies. So I'm gonna go ahead and I sliced it in half long ways. And this will also help fit into the food processor. So I'm gonna go like this and boom, the casing comes right off. I call it the reverse, I don't know, split. Boom, done. You throw this away, garbage. Okay, take it one more time. I'm gonna cut a quarter stick. So now it's you've quartered the log of pepperoni and boy, it's all greasy on my hands. And it's not the brand I like that rhymes with Schmore's head. It's, uh, I don't, this is Acme or something, I don't know. Okay, so I've got this all set up with just a shredder blade like you would use for cheese. And uh, got it loaded up with some pepperoni. It's gonna get a little bit loud. Put your earmuffs on and see how it goes. Last piece in there. I think we're probably pretty good, Pam. Let's take a look. A little bit on here we're gonna wanna save. Tap this off. And I'll grab all these little pieces left. And that's what you're left with in there. Okay, we've got the pepperoni grinded up. Next, we're gonna take the stems, and we don't have too many because they're kind of small onions, or pepperonis. And just gonna take a knife and run it through these, and you know, it's kind of a small, it's kind of a small chop. And after we get these chopped up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some olive oil, warm it up in a skillet, and we're gonna dump all these chopped mushroom stems and the pepperoni into that skillet. Well, I've got the oil uh, just a very little bit of oil warming up in that skillet. And uh, I have a little bit of concern with how oily that pepperoni is. I'm having second thoughts but of adding any oil. But you got to have something in my mind to get these mushroom stems going. So I'm going to gamble, and it won't be the first time, but if I mess this up, you'll be able to see me try to correct it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw that in. Get these coated. I, I like a little bit of that flavor of the olive oil in there. It's going to taste almost like a uh, keto pizza when we're all done. Get it on medium heat. You can kind of hear it sizzling a little bit. We'll just give these a few minutes to soften up. And then we're going to go ahead and add the pepperoni. I'm feeling these and uh, they're starting to feel a little bit soft. So that's good. Uh, that's all you want to do is soften them up a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and Throw in, I'll do this left-handed, throw in the pepperoni, get this cooked down, 
and uh, it's, it's pretty good, pretty tasty. I've made this for a few people, and everybody wants the recipe. Of course, they're probably just being nice, but uh, Pam and I like them, so. You can see that's more than enough for the mushrooms that we have. We'll be using this probably on a pizza, whatever's left over. But, uh, so we'll let these cook a little bit, and then we'll be packing mushrooms after we add the tomato paste. Okay, just flipping this around, and you, you don't want to cook it all the way through. I mean, it's already cooked. You know, you're just trying to heat it up. And when it's nice and hot, that'll help the tomato paste melt a little bit. And uh, smelling pretty good. And you might be wondering, are we going to go with any spices? Uh, any garlic, any onion, any whatever? Um, no, because the pepperoni's already spiced. That's what makes it so simple. Uh, the only thing I'll do is I'll dust it with a little parsley before serving. Uh, and that's going to be about the only spice. So I think we're about ready to add some tomato sauce. Now this you want to cook a little while. Uh, just to cook the sauce, the paste. This is actually tomato paste. And uh, throw this in. And you add water as needed. I'm going to take a look and see what we have. It's not a whole can I used. It wasn't that much pepperoni. Stir this around. That's probably half a can of tomato paste. That's cooking. I'm gonna throw a little water in there to loosen that up. When you're all finished, you want it to be about sloppy joe consistency. It's looking okay, huh, Pam? Maybe a little heavy on the tomato paste. That's okay. We're gonna just let that, I'm gonna turn that down, let that simmer a little bit, and uh, maybe five, 10 minutes, let it sit, and then we'll be packing those mushrooms with it, topping it with some cheese, and uh, I'm gonna turn on the oven now, get it preheated to about, about 300 degrees. Little bake. And 10 minutes, we'll start packing mushrooms. Well, it's been a few minutes since it's cooked down. Uh, one thing to tell you is the amount of pepperoni is completely up to you. Uh, for me, I like a little more pepperoni. Uh, I probably would have added more to this, except for I'm limited on mushrooms. So I'm just gonna live with how it is. Uh, but the, and the other thing I'd like to get this, any oil that comes out, like you can see in here, just take a paper towel, and I like to, just a, Get that stuff out of there as much as you can. You don't have to play with it, but I like to. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut this heat off, clean up some of this oil, and then we'll be packing the mushrooms. Well, it looks like the uh, stuffing has firmed up nicely after resting for a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and start packing these mushrooms. Now these are baby Bellas. Uh, sometimes it works better with bigger mushrooms, but I like to keep them bite size. You kind of want to kind of push on there, get all the nooks and crannies underneath that cap filled. And uh, yeah, I think that's how you want them to look. So after we pack them, we're going to go ahead and throw on a little piece of mozzarella. Uh, and I'm going to throw a little, you can leave these out easily. Uh, I'm going to throw a little panko breadcrumbs, just a dusting on top to add a little crunch. I, I probably won't do them all like this. But uh, yeah, if you're watching your uh, celiac or you're watching your bread or carbs, you easily leave these on. I've eaten them nine times out of ten without them. I'm just anxious to have a little bit of crunch in there. And it, it's, it's going to taste just like a vegetarian pizza or a wheat-free pizza, I guess you call it. So I'm going to go ahead and pack the rest of these up and I'll show you throwing them in the oven. Pretty simple, easy recipe, I think you all agree. And these mushrooms will soften right up like the exact amount of time it takes to melt that cheese will soften these mushrooms right up and it's it's going to be awesome be really good 
Okay, Pam, I'm gonna leave at least six uh, without the breadcrumbs. And uh, I'm gonna reserve the parsley for afterwards to keep it nice and bright green. And uh, let's try it out. The oven's up to temperature. Throw them in here on about 300. Careful, careful when you put them in there. It'll take about 15, 20 minutes. These babies will be done and ready to devour. Okay, it's been about uh, 20 minutes on 300. I did shut the oven off about three minutes ago just to take advantage of the residual heat. And uh, let's take a look. I'm feeling confident. I think they're gonna be ready. Looks good. Looks good. I'm gonna call these done. Uh, mm, smells nice, smells nice. A Little bit of color in there. Looks really good. I think you're gonna like these, Pam. They look awesome. You know what, if, uh, now look, they were done in I what, love these. <laughs> less than a half an hour and you get an appetizer for the neighbors when they're coming over or your wife's taking a bubble bath maybe and you want to surprise her. So let's get these plated and give them a taste. Now, as to not appear to be uncivilized, I have cut one in half. And as wonderful as they look, unless they taste good, you're not gonna be very popular with your bride when she comes from her bubble bath to eat these. So let's give them a, give them a taste and see what we have here. Smooth, elegant, tasty. I don't know who wouldn't like these. So simple, so with few ingredients, the tomato paste, the uh, water, the pepperoni, the mushroom, the cheese. Uh, and they look nice dusted with the parsley. The breadcrumbs, I think the next time I may uh, cook the breadcrumbs a little bit of butter in a skillet and get them to be nice and golden. I mean, they're great like this, but uh, I think with that little butter touch, that might have set them over the edge. But again, without the breadcrumbs, they're awesome too. Now you need to make these yourself. They're so simple. You'll impress your friends and you go straight to boardwalk. Okay, thanks for watching. Put that in there. Oh, close it. Post it on up. That didn't work very well, Pam. <laughs> Got my handy spatula thing. It's not very working very well, Pam. So we don't have too many because they're kind of small onions or pepperonis. And they are bite-sized, but it's bigger than my mom.